I'm Calvin Felker with Aero Charger. We got the K&M Maverick 1000 here. We finalized the kit you guys have all been waiting for and today we're going to do the install video. As with all our kits, we try to make them very simple to install with just common hand tools. But if you have any problems, feel free to call us or your dealer. We're here to help you guys and make sure everything goes smoothly. We're starting the video with the vehicle already partially disassembled. As you can see, the seats are out. The front seats are real simple, just a locking tab. The back of the seat come right out. The back seats aren't as simple as the front. You'll have to re remove a couple pieces of plastic in the bed to get to the two screws up there. And there's two screws at the bottom, four screws, bolts per seat. The next step's gonna be removing the center console, which is pretty much the plastic from here all the way up. You'll have to lift this up. There's some plastic push starts that hold this in. Remove it. Next, we'll remove the handles. We got a screw in each one. I've already taken the screw out. Give them a little wiggle and a tug. Pull them right off. And the last handle up here for your passenger. Next, we're gonna remove this piece. I've already taken the screws out of the top and sides. You'll have to open your glove box. Slides forward or rearward, and then just rest it up there. So now we're ready to take off the main piece in the center here. There's multiple screws that need to be removed. This is the last one I got to do on mine. Once you get that out, we'll lift it up. There's enough slack in this wire to your overrun button to allow us to lift it up. Again, you got to put that in the center there. So what I like to do is just push the button up. It'll clip through. Just has one locking tab on the rear. Again, give her a nice little wiggle. Stuff that back through. Make sure you put your button back in so you don't lose it. Next, we're gonna remove the side rear plastics. Same thing, just plastic darts holding it. I've already removed them. And the other side. To get to the clutches, you're going to have to remove the bottom panel over here on your driver rear side. So after you move all the screws, you'll have to peel it up to loosen your seat belt connecting bolt here. It's a 10 mil. You'll have to get around on the back side and the 10 mil nut. Once you loosen that up, you'll be able to slide it out. Now we need to remove this inner piece of plastic on the front on both sides. You got two 10 mil bolts, couple push pins, just like that, and the other side. All right, next we're gonna remove the stock air box. The first step is just popping the cover off. The next step is to remove the hoses. I've already loosened the hose clamp off this left side. There's two clamps, one to the box, one going back. And the second tube back here can kind of be a booger. You're gonna have to get a screwdriver or something, but they glued it from the factory to the air box. Kind of makes it a pain. So you'll have to take it and actually physically shove it back through. Outside of the plastic. So now that I got the hose shoved off, there's another small hose that there's a hose clamp on that you just pinch with some pliers, slide it off. Fortunately, it's really tight and I broke a few tabs on this air box. Try not to do that. So now I've loosened up the hose clamp on the back of this. That deal will come out. This, you'll have to remove this clamp that holds this, because our charge tube and stuff's gonna come through here to make room for that. We're gonna have to remove this as well. Also this screen down here, I've taken the screws out. We'll slide out. Get rid of that, and that's it for now at the front of the vehicle. So next, we're gonna remove this tube. We're actually gonna retain this plastic tube here for the kit, so loosen up the clamps, remove that. Then we're gonna loosen up the throttle body, and set it aside. Now we're gonna be taking the three quarter inch airbox vent tube and rerouting it to the back here. You wanna make sure you don't kink this tube.
This is the air vent tube that we disconnected earlier from the air box. It came from the very front of the vehicle. We rerouted it back to here. It's going to hook up into our Donaldson air intake on for our turbo. Make sure you don't snag any wires. Make sure it's all clean routing. So now we're going to remove your clutch guard and then the air vent tube for it. It's an eight mil bolt. You'll have a few more bolts. We already had a few out. There's also the hose clamp you'll have to remove at the front. So get your 15 mil wrench, loosen up these collars, loosen up the nut there. So you get the collar, the nut loose, the collars will become loose and then slide them down. And then you'll just slide the muffler off the back one by one. Next is the Y pipe, 13 mil bolts on this guy. You're gonna need a five mil Allen for the rest of this exhaust. So we got the top two, moving down here to these two over here. Make sure you keep the springs and the collars. We'll be reusing those with the turbo kit. Be removing the last two collars. Now that we got that pipe loose, so I have to slide it like so. Okay, final step of removing the stock exhaust, just pulling it out now that we got all the bolts and collars removed. Now that our disassembly is done, we're gonna start with our assembly of the turbo kit. First is the Y pipe. Slide this girl down in here. Like so. Don't forget to put your donut on this guy. So now that we got the Y pipe loosely bolted up to the headers, I'm gonna slide the turbo mount in here, bolt it up. So make sure you refer to your manual, put your oil in your turbo before you bolt it on. I've already done that. Get your gasket on here. You'll notice your bolts already came with NICs on them. So now you can see we kind of loosely got it all bolted together. We got the turbo full of oil mounted up to the header and the mounting bracket. Now that we've got the turbo assembly loosely mounted up, we're going to tighten the header first. Just kind of snug them up with the gun and then we're going to make sure they're tight and hand tight. That way you get a good seal. Now we're just getting the other side. Same thing, snug it up with the gun. Then we'll hit it in a second with the hand, make sure it's hand tight, torqued correctly. Now that we got the headers tightened down, we'll tighten down the turbo bracket first. Then we'll move on to the turbo bolts. These are 13 mil on both sides. Grab your 17 mil, move over here to the turbo mount, tighten all four of those bolts down. So we've taken the exhaust and loosely mounted it up to the turbo. We left this bolt out. It will come in later when we mount the deck up. So just loosely mount them up. We'll tighten these up at that time as well. Next, we're gonna mount our air filter for our turbo. We use a Donaldson style air filter. Works great for this kind of application. Great in dirt, it's oversized, plenty of airflow. You wanna make sure it's orientated to where this is your charge tube heading that way on the vehicle. And this down, they should come that way in the kit. Sometimes, you know, they might not be. It's not hard, you pop these apart and just rotate that. It's gonna sit in here like this. We got these two aluminum brackets. This one you notice has an angle to it. You want that angled up because the Donaldson will rest against it. We got two 13 mil bolts here. They're kind of hard to see. And this is gonna mount up here. This guy is just held on by two hose clamps. Now that we got those hose clamps tight on that bracket, we'll take out these two 13 mil bolts. So this bracket is angled as well. Make sure it's like that, facing down again. Your Donaldson's gonna set up against it. Put the plastic blocks on the back side, don't lose them. There's also some on the top. You'll notice they probably fall out when you take those bolts out. Be careful, probably fall out on me again here. 
and tighten them down. Slide your big hose clamp in here. We're gonna toss her up in our hose clamp here. Remember the orientation is pretty critical. You always want the drain facing down. We're gonna have our charge tube coming out here towards the front. Here. Well, now we're gonna mount up your intake tube. This big end goes on the end of your Donaldson air filter. And the smaller end is gonna go on the aero charger intake side. So now that you got that hooked up, we're gonna hook up our vent tube that came that goes to the PCV tube that we rerouted earlier from the front of the vehicle to the rear because our intake's on the rear, the stock is on the front. Hook it up, slide your clamp down. And then put a couple zip ties on the, the hose here to this, this bracket, the subframe. So now we're going to start mounting the charge tubes to the front of the vehicle from the turbo. Start with this guy. It goes in there like this. Kind of hard to see. You want to go down between the frame brackets here. Now we're going to be moving back up to the front of the machine to remove these panels. I've already removed the push pins, so I'm just going to pull them out, set this stuff to the side, pull out the floor panel, it's got a few screws and push pins holding it in there. Now that we have that clear, we're going to grab this charge tube out of your kit, and it, you'll notice it has a small aluminum tube in here already, that's for the two-seater kit. On the four-seater, you're going to take this out. Set it to the side, and later we'll be installing this in there. But for now, we'll take this and route it back to meet up with the charge tube that we just ran from the turbo. You're inserting the smaller end back towards it. Should have the aluminum connector to connect to the other charge tube. The big end this side. And before we start there, make sure that you come up here and loosen up the four bolts, four 10 mil bolts in the floor. It just allows it to flex, makes it a little easier. This clamp should be tight. Your aluminum tubes in there. So now I'm just sliding it in, connecting the two together. I'm going to slide the hose clamp down. It's kind of hard to see in here. I'm going to slide it down and tighten it. You can also take the bottom pan of the vehicle off and it makes it a little easier. Now we'll take the uh, aluminum tube we talked about earlier, slide it up towards the front. It's going to go up to the intercooler, hook it up to the charge tube, tighten your hose clamp. Now that we got the aluminum charge tube hooked up, we're going to put the hanger in there to keep it off the drive shaft. It just comes up to this hole here, drop it down, hook it into the hose clamp. Tighten it down. Now we're going to grab this big charge tube here. It's going to go in there like so. Stuff it down in. 